Hey everybody, it's Lon Saib and it's time for another unboxing and today we've got in this laptop from Asus on loan. This is their Tough Gaming. This one's got a Ryzen 7 processor and I believe an NVIDIA GPU combination. This is something we haven't seen before. So we're going to unbox it now and then we'll have a full review soon on the main channel at lon.tv. And this is on loan from Asus again. They are not paying for this unboxing nor are they reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. And these Ryzen uh, NVIDIA GPU combo machines, I think they start at around $649, so they're pretty reasonably priced. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the ports we've got here. We've got power, gigabit Ethernet, a full-size HDMI output, uh, looks like three USB ports, two of them USB 3, one USB 2, a headphone microphone jack over there. We've got plenty of cooling, of course, and we'll take this apart in a minute to see what we can upgrade on it. Doesn't look like you've got anything here on the other side, so all of your ports are located here. Now this is a 15-inch laptop. It's got a 1080p IPS display. It looks like they're all running with 120 hertz displays though, which is really nice to see in a lower cost laptop. Uh, these again start around 650. This one is probably going to come in closer to $1,000 based on its configuration. So we've got the Ryzen 7 processor along with a GTX 1650 GPU from NVIDIA. You got a nice mixture of AMD and NVIDIA on this one. And we'll run through uh, all of our gaming tests when we do the full review coming up. Uh, nice RGB keyboard on this too. A really good deal, I think. And it feels pretty rugged as well. Very heavy though. Uh, so what we're going to do now is turn it off. I'm going to take it apart and see what we can upgrade. And then we'll put it back together and review it a little bit later next week. All right, so I got the screws out of the laptop here. I just wanted to show you something I bought the other day. This is the iFixit Tools and Opening Assortment uh, Kit here. And you've got two uh, little credit card things that you can use to slip in between portions of a case. Uh, they have a few prying and opening tools. They've got one of these little hooks for uh, working with uh, cables and things that you might want to disconnect and reconnect inside of a motherboard. And they also have a couple of these uh, guitar pick looking things in the box too. And these are kind of um, uh, bendable, a little bit more than I would like, but it's actually getting into uh, the computer here quite easily. It's very thin, uh, so you're able to really get in there and very easily prop the uh, case open here. So what you do is just kind of put it in the groove here after you unscrew everything and just run it through and it will eventually uh, separate the case for you. So let me just finish this up here and get the rest of the case opened up. And I think I'm actually there. Let's get a little bit over on this side and we should be able to get it open. It's always good to see how upgradable these machines are too because um, some are easier to get into than others. Some manufacturers just don't like you opening up their computers. So uh, it's kind of fun to see how each company approaches it. Asus typically has been pretty friendly, especially on their gaming laptops because gamers are often getting in there and upgrading. And of course, I'm eager to see exactly what's inside. So it looks like we have broken through here. Now, another thing I picked up recently because I'm frequently opening up laptops is one of these magnetic screw holders that uh, will keep your screws in place, as you can see, for the most part, uh, as you're taking things apart. And what's helpful about this, too, is it's got a nice grid pattern here so I can keep track of where the screws came out. Because as you can see here, the screws are of varying sizes based on where they came from on the computer. And you want to make sure you remember where all those screws go when you put it back together again. Uh, the only thing of note here as I'm looking at this out of the gate is that this particular model, which I think has eight gigs of RAM, is configured in single channel configuration. Uh, that might present some, uh, some performance issues, which might be mitigated slightly by the fact that it does have a discrete GPU. But I would imagine this single channel of configuration at the moment uh, might impact some of the CPU tests we'll do a little later. So we'll see how it does. I might uh, want to put in another stick and see how uh, things compare. Uh, you do have a SATA drive slot here, which is open. So you could put a uh, SSD or a spinning drive in there for more capacity. And then it looks like they've got an NVMe drive underneath this uh, little uh, piece of tape. Uh, and this is an Intel SSD. It looks like this one's got 512 gigabytes, and I'm sure there are varying configurations out there. Uh, these are very easy to upgrade, though, so you could get a bigger one later and put it in there and be off and running with that. And that is all I'm seeing from an upgradability standpoint. You can get a feel for the heat sink and fan uh, configuration here. It looks like it's got a pretty robust cooling system. We'll test all that out as well. 
And it looks like a pretty nice uh, configuration here, minus the single channel RAM. All right, I'm gonna put this thing back together and we will have a full review coming up soon on the main channel at LON.TV, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.